Let's take a few moments to look at the announcements for this week. Well, September's just around the corner, and that means PYV camp time. During the September school holidays, PYV Spring Camp is meeting online with Bill Medley from Frankston as this year's speaker. Registrations are now open. And the total cost is $10 for a weekend of excellent teaching and fellowship. And our own online fellowship continues as well with the online cuppa at 11am and 4pm on Sunday, the Monday night Bible study at 7pm and the Wednesday evening prayer meeting also from 7 o'clock. I'm very happy to help you get connected to each of those events. And as members of the Body of Christ, it's our privilege to share together in the Ministry of Giving. You can support the work of ministry here by taking the bank details on your screen to your local bank branch, by making an electronic deposit online, or sending a cheque to the addresses also provided. Let's come to the God of all of the earth in prayer. And as we do so, whether you're watching on your own or with other members of your family, why not pause the video and spend some time praying together, then hit play and we'll continue the service with the pastoral prayer. Almighty God, we thank you for the privilege of coming to you in the name of your dear Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, that he has opened the way for sinners like us to lay our requests at your feet. We do so, our God, praying that your name would be honoured in our hearts and lives and those of all of the people of this world. We pray, our Father, that we would see your will being done on earth as it is in heaven, just as you promise it will be. And as our faith is being tested, we pray that you would use this time to reform us, to refine us, to prune us like a grapevine. As the heat in our circumstances gets warmer and warmer, may our roots go down deeper and draw from the living waters of life which are in Jesus Christ. So help us and each of our brothers and sisters in Christ to fix our eyes on Jesus, the one who has begun our faith and is bringing it to its perfect completion. We pray for our political representatives and their advisors that you would give great wisdom and insight to them that they would fear you more than anything else and seek the good of the citizens you've entrusted to their care rather than their own political ends. Our God and Father, you are good and in everything you do good. And so we praise your name and thank you for the answers to prayer that you are already sending because we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. What does it mean to be a real Christian? That's the big question in today's Kids Talk from the team from Quizworks. Oh, hey, Reg. Oh, hi, Miriam. Yeah, hi, everyone. I'm Miriam, and that's Reg. Yeah, hi. And welcome back to Quizworks Home Delivery. As you know, we're working our way through the awesome book of Acts. Ooh, yeah. And in Acts, we're seeing that, oh, do it with me, the mission of the risen King Jesus cannot be stopped. <laughs> well, today, as we get to Acts chapter 15, we're going to see that the message of this mission is clear. It's only by <laughs> repenting and accepting Jesus as their King that people are made right with God. Hey, hey Miriam, can you please pass me that marker? Oh, yeah, this one? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Reg? Yeah? What are you doing? I'm making the Real Puppet Society. Why are you starting the Real Puppet Society? Oh, because Bubbles and I, we were having an argument about oh. which one of us is a real puppet. What makes a real puppet? Duh, a real puppet has brown hair. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a real puppet eats baked beans on ice cream. Okay. Yeah, and a real puppet, they say woof, woof, oh. woof, woof, um, woof. Uh, I'm right, and because Bubbles is blue and doesn't eat ice cream with baked beans, and because she doesn't bark... She's not a real puppet. Reg, I'm not sure that all real puppets are brown, um, eat baked beans on ice cream, and say woof. Yes, they do. Uh, look, look, you've got a picture of the Muppets back there? Yeah, I love yeah. the Muppets. Uh, who's your favourite Muppet? Oh, Kermit the Frog, of course. Oh, okay, and is Kermit the Frog brown? No, he's green. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, oh <laughs> so I guess real puppets aren't always brown. 
And look, you've got this really cool picture of Scruff and you. Yeah, Scruff and I are besties. Does Scruff eat baked beans on ice cream? No, he eats chalk-coated bones. Everyone knows that. Uh Uh-huh. Oh, not all puppets eat baked beans on ice cream. No, no, no. no. Uh, <laughs> and look, there's a yep. photo of all of your Quizworks puppet friends. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Apart from uh, you and Scruff, yeah. do any of them say woof? Oh, I guess no, they don't. Oh, I guess no. not all real puppets say woof. No. <laughs> nope. Oh, dear. What makes a real puppet then? I've got to go find out. Oh. Oh, um, okay. Today, when we get to Acts chapter 15, we meet some people who are claiming that to be a real Christian, you have to be a certain type of person. But as we look at Acts 15, we will see that it's just by repenting and accepting Jesus as their king that people are made right with God. Let's watch our story. Paul had just returned from his first missionary journey. Paul told the church in Antioch what God had done. We have told lots of people about the risen King Jesus, and many people repented and accepted Jesus as their King. Hooray! The church in Antioch explained. They were so excited. But then some other people came to the church in Antioch, and they told the people a different message. To be a real Christian, to really be made right with God, you need to repent and accept Jesus as your king and become a Jew. Paul did not like this message. No, you don't. All you have to do is repent and accept Jesus as your king. The church in Antioch was confused. This was such an important question. Were people made right with God just by repenting and accepting Jesus as their king? Or were people made right with God by repenting and accepting Jesus as their king and doing something else? We don't know what to do, the church said. Go, go to Jerusalem and find the other apostles and find out what we should do. And so Paul and some others left Antioch and headed to Jerusalem to see the other leaders of the church. When they arrived, they called the church leaders and the apostles together and they discussed the question, are people made right with God just by repenting and accepting Jesus as their king or do they need to do something else as well? To help work out the answer, Peter spoke first. Remember Cornelius? God gave him the Holy Spirit when he heard the message of the risen King Jesus. He was made right with God just by repenting and accepting Jesus as his King. Then Paul spoke. My friends and I have been traveling to many different places and many people have trusted the risen King Jesus. They were made right with God just by repenting and accepting Jesus as their King. Finally, Jesus' brother James spoke up. God's scriptures have told us that God will save people who are not Jews. And the Holy Spirit has shown that people who are not Jews can be made right with God just by repenting and accepting Jesus as their king. All the apostles and church leaders agreed. People don't need to do anything else. Everyone can be made right with God just by repenting and accepting Jesus as their king. When the church back in Antioch heard this news, they were overjoyed. Hooray! And so the mission of the risen King Jesus could spread. Everywhere Christians could clearly proclaim, everyone can be made right with God just by repenting and accepting Jesus as their King. The end. Okay, Miriam, I found the answer. I Googled it. (laughs) Wikipedia says, and I quote, A puppet is an object that is animated or manipulated by a person called a puppeteer. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what that means. (laughs) It means a real puppet is um, uh, someone is lending them a hand. Oh, lending them a hand? Mm -hmm. So does someone lend Bubbles a hand too? Yeah, someone does. So she is a real puppet. Maybe she'll want to join my real puppet society then. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, right. Well, I'm off to find her. See ya. Okay, see ya. (laughs) Today, we have seen that what really makes someone a Christian is not what they look like, 
It's not what they wear. It's not what country or background they're from. Because the Bible clearly tells us that everyone can be made right with God just by repenting and accepting Jesus as their king. And so kids, you need to make sure you are repenting and accepting Jesus as your king. And we also need to make sure we are telling our friends about the risen King Jesus. And as we do, we can know that, do it with me, the mission of the risen King Jesus cannot be stopped. See you next time. So being a real Christian isn't about me or what I do but trusting in Jesus Christ alone. And that's what our next song is about. This is Yet Not I, But Through Christ in Me.